So today we're gonna to be going over the top five paying dividends in my dividend portfolio. Now, we're gonna hop on screen over here so you can follow along. Um, if you haven't already been following, we love talking about dividends and investing for the long-term future on this channel. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And what we're gonna do is hop over quickly onto the computer so we can get this started. And what I wanna do is first and foremost, talk about the portfolio, and then we're gonna go into the top five paying dividends. There's obviously different things you can look at. Um, right now, what we're gonna do is actually just go based off of how much these companies are paying me out, and we're gonna go off those top five. Now, I have over 19 stocks in my portfolio. Not all of them are actually dividend paying stocks, but nonetheless, we're going to kind of go over it. Uh, I love using M1 Finance. This is the platform I enjoy and get so much value out of. I'll link them down below if you want to start using them as well for your dividend investing. It supports out your channel, but you get some nice bonuses for using that link as well down below. Now, uh, we have, like I said, 19 stocks in this portfolio. So what I wanted to do is see which companies are paying out because I'm starting to get to a point where these companies are paying out a pretty large sum. And by large sum, it's obviously relative to me. But I want to show you something first and foremost before we go into what I'm currently earning. Um, we're going to switch over the dates to the beginning of my portfolio. Now, I've been using M1 Finance for pretty much three years now, which is uh, one of the reasons I love recommending it. So when you sign up below, like you're using a product that I personally love to enjoy and, and get so much value out of. Um, but let's go and take a look here. So my first dividend payout was actually March 14th of 2019 for this portfolio. Now I've done other investings before, but it's this one right over here that I've, I've really taken a liking to. And you can see the first company that paid me out was Microsoft for a whopping two cents on this portfolio, which is fantastic because that's a great way to get started with investing is just getting started. So we're gonna hop over and uh, see what we're getting paid now in our dividends, just to kind of give you some context of, you know, what investing looks like after so long. So you can start seeing here, some of these payouts are starting to get into, you know, 15, 20, $30 ranges. So what we're gonna do is actually hop over to the dividend tracker. Uh, let me slide this up just a little bit, there we go. So we're gonna be on the dividend tracker, which is actually put together by my friend, JJ Buckner. Uh, he has uh, some dividend channel here on YouTube as well. Um, and if you guys wanna check out this uh, dividend tracker, you can try it out for free with a link down below too. So uh, I have my uh, M1 Finance portfolio put in here. I don't think I updated it necessarily, but we're actually gonna go to the payout calendar because this will kind of give us a, an idea of how this will work out. So I'm mainly just basing this off of my M1 dividend investing portfolio not necessarily all my investing. So let's take a look here because th what they do is they actually break this down in the payout calendar uh, by all the companies I have. And you can see here how many shares I have at what price point they're paying out their dividends and then usually the months that they're paying out. So what I want to do is look at the top five companies that are paying me out in dividends and we can go from there. So the number one stock in my portfolio that pays me out a dividend based off of obviously, you know, how much I have in there and everything is going to be NRZ and they are paying me a whopping $32 and 56 cents as of this recording. Now, if they do a dividend increase or if I buy more shares, obviously those numbers are going to change a little bit, but by far that is going to be the most I get. Now that is obviously quite a bit more than the two cents I started off with, with earning dividends in this portfolio. So I'm excited excited to see how that growth is going to continue to build up over time, which again, if you're not subscribed, I almost fell off the table. Again, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below because you'll see that journey and our progression on this channel. Now, next up, uh, next up after NRZ is going to be probably one of my favorites as of late when it comes to dividend uh, stocks is going to be Home Depot. Um, I have 15.88 shares. Actually, I think I have a little bit more. Again, I haven't updated it recently, uh, but they are paying a dollar and 90 cents a share. So I'm earning $30 and 17 cents, which is so much in my opinion. Like in my head, I'm like, holy smokes, that is so much. So you could see here, here, it was a little off, but it was $30 and 17 cents that I got paid. When I got that dividend coming in, I was like, holy smokes, this is so much money. Um, and again, I know it's all relative, right? Like to somebody else, you know, $30 might not be a lot. They might be getting, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in dividends. But, you know, we all start somewhere and that's where I'm, I'm at. And I love it. Like, I think it's so great. So we have NRZ and we have Home Depot. Now, before we go on and look at some of these other companies that are paying us dividends in this portfolio, I do want to quickly mention Ladder Life. They are a company that provides term life insurance. So if you're trying to, you know, have this money for your family down the road while you're building up these dividends and something happens, happens to you. Hopefully you are covered with term life insurance so that way they have money for them to be able to continue living and also possibly invest that money to earn those dividends and live off of those. Now, going with Ladder Life, it only takes just a couple minutes to get started and you could be paying as low as $5 a month to have coverage for you and your family. So check them out on the link down below. It does help support out the channel, but you're gonna be able to protect your family, especially if you're trying to build a long-term investment platform for them. This is gonna help protect them in case something happens to you. 
Now let's go back to the calendar over here. So you saw uh, that $32.56 from NRZ. You saw the $30.17 from Home Depot. Now the next one on this list as far as the amount of money that we're gonna be getting paid out from these companies does drop pretty substantially from those two numbers because those are paying out some really nice dividends. Uh, you're gonna see right over here with Lockheed Martin, we have 6.11 shares at $2.80. So we're earning about $17.11 from this company um, every single quarter. And then from there, you're gonna be able to see right over here, very close to one another, we have Ross and we also have uh, Microsoft. So with Ross, we own about 50 shares at 31 cents. And so we're getting paid out $15.72. And then from Microsoft, which was the first dividend stock that was paying out in this portfolio, we have 24.84 shares and we are getting paid 62 cents a share. So we're making about $15 and 40 cents from this company as well. We also do have uh, Texas Instrument that I just somehow completely missed uh, on this one. This was originally part of the list, but um, now you're going to see the top six stocks in there because technically Microsoft uh, and Ross come after Texas Instrument. Uh, so you can see right over here, we have 15.77 shares at $1.15 a share for dividend payout, which is $18.13 that we get paid out from them as well. Now, all of these dividends that we're getting paid out, plus all the other ones um, that are paying out obviously smaller dollar amounts, all of them are getting reinvested into the portfolio. So that way we can go ahead and have that money working for us and compounding on top. So if we go back into my uh, activities feed here, Let's reset this whole thing here. Just to kind of give you an example right over here. So we had Home Depot paid out $30.17. So that very next morning, I actually ended up buying more Home Depot. Now, that's not always the case for me. I sometimes take those dividends and invest them in other companies, but that just happened to be because Home Depot is kind of dropped down in price a little bit lately. So I've just taken the opportunity to buy in the dip. Now you can also see here at Lockheed Martin, I ended up paying out that $17.11. And I actually did a $250 deposit this week. So you can see uh, right over here, 600 or $267.11. And I put technically that extra little bit into Ross because all of these were 50, 50 and 100. So that extra little bit from the dividends got put into Ross, which then eventually will get paid out in extra dividends from Ross, which then I can keep piling into the portfolio. And that's the beauty of compound interest is that I'm taking these dividends and I'm gonna keep on reinvesting into the portfolio until one point we get to a spot where we want to start utilizing this money for other things and then we could either live off of the dividends to spend on that or we can start pulling out some of that principal but the long-term goal of course is to be able to take this and go through the process of actually investing the money now and then utilizing the money for ourselves down the road once all of that has hit at like its peak and then we're earning some really nice dividends every month from all these different companies as well but let me know from your portfolio what are some of the top paying dividends in your account right now just based off a of dollar amount not necessarily the amount that they pay per quarter but just the total dollar amount like you saw with home depot is home depot and nrz are my top two both hitting over $30 every single quarter, which is just, again, mind-blowing for me. So let me know in the comments down below what are yours. Don't forget to hit that like button because it will help out the channel as well. And I'm going to put up my next video right over here for you to keep on learning and watching. My name is Dennis, and I'll see you in that next video.